Good morning, everybody. Welcome to Truth Be Told. I am so excited that you're here today so that we can uncover the truth together. Oh, my goodness, the truth of God will change your life. I pray today that you are open to receive, that the eyes of your understanding are enlightened to see who you are in Christ today. In the glorious, mighty, unmatchable name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. I want to talk to you about a subject that we all know well. You know, sometimes in life, the smallest things in our lives can change our life, can change the trajectory of our lives in the blink of an eye. It can change the course of your life and set you on a path that you never thought or imagined possible. Every single one of us are in search. We're in search of something. So we were created and there's a void, a God-shaped void that can only be filled by God. But until you understand that, and accept that, you're going to try to fill it with everything else. Because I am telling you that I tried to fill it with everything except God, honey. Men, booze, drugs, sex, money, and I had it all. And I'm here to tell you now, on the other side of the spectrum, that I've had all those things. Because some of you ain't had any of those stuff, so you think that that's still what you want. So you're still searching for it. Uh... I pray that you find out very quickly so you don't spend any more time in that area, in that arena, that nothing. You don't have to take my word for it because I guess you have to have your own experience. But those who know me know that I'm speaking truth. That now that I've tasted the goodness of God, I can't even, I can't describe it. I pray that my life is a reflection that I'm telling, that I'm speaking the truth to y'all because ain't nothing like it. I tell you the good, good of God, it ain't even, it just, there's no comparison we're all searching for that light. But in searching for that light, we have to pass to the deepest, darkest that you'll ever know in life to get to that light. And some of us just don't want to go through that darkness. So we'd rather stay in the place where we're at, stuck like Chuck, like I say. We park in that place of pain and we stay there, right? But we all have a destiny and a plan and a God-driven purpose that God has set before us. But so many of us choose not to follow that plan for that purpose that God created us, has laid out for us. But when we thank God, we add sparkles to our blessing. It heightens our joy. When we thank God in our sadness and our depression, it brightens our perspective. Oh my gosh, and it redirects our focus on the power greater than our circumstance. I know it's easier said than done, but we have to stop. We have to stop. We have to start thinking on purpose. We need to think on purpose on God's continuous presence in our life. We have to think on purpose on his lavish grace. We need to think on purpose on his mercy. Do you guys know what grace and mercy is? You need to look it up, man. And his unfailing love. We need to think on these things on purpose because those are the things that are going to bring us joy. You see, these are the ingredients to peace. Peace pie. Yeah, have you ever had a slice of peace pie? It was amazing, right? Or joy cake. We These are the ingredients that God has given us to follow, to be obedient, to make and to have this in life. But we choose bitter pie and chaos cake, honey. <laughs> I don't know why we would choose that in our life because you ain't never had a piece of peace pie. Once you have, you will never go back to bitter pie or chaos cake. I'm telling you. So I pray today that you are open that you that you have God has given you the ingredients. Bake yourself a peace pie, honey, and a piece of joy cake, and you will never ever be the same again as long as you live, honey. I am. Where am I at today? I am on Peace Place and Joy Junction, honey. Where you at? Holla.